Hello everybody, and welcome to the first episode of Let's Play Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion. My name is Dr. Wasachronic, and today I'm going to be giving you guys something a little bit different. Um, basically what I am going to do here is that I'm going to play through my own personal fan fiction that I had wrote for the Elder Scrolls storyline. Pretty much who we have here is Iva Frostvane. Uh, she is now currently in the Imperial Prison. As of why she is, I really haven't thought up of that yet, so I'm going to leave that up to you. You can put down in the comment section why you think Iva was put in prison. A little background for her. Um, she is a Nord. She specializes in um, stealth and magic. So she's probably going to end up being a Nightblade of some of some sorts. Uh, she has a younger sister called Eva Frostvane, and she ended up being taken over to the Vanderfell island over in Morrowind where she became the hero over there and she ended up eventually killing Dagoth Ur. So way so way to go her. Um, I did actually have a saved game with Eva Fro Frostvane in it but uh, Unfortunately, when I transferred over to Windows 7, I'm like, crap, the game is gone. So, rather than play through that whole thing all over again, I just said, screw it. I'm going to start with the next chapter, which is her older sister, who's probably been in jail for the past year or so now. Just so I can tell, she's a little bit beat up here, you know, her hair is kind of all over the place here. Um, people in the family frost vein, they are known for their luscious red hair. That is something that I want to make sure that they all have. One thing that you may not be able to find in the Elder Scrolls history books is the clan name is the clan name known as Frostvane. That is because it does not exist. Which is why this is my own personal fan fiction and I hope that if I ever do get to play Elder Scrolls online that I will be able to make a another Frostvane character solely for that. So this is Iva Frostvane's story in Let's Play Elder Scrolls 4 Episode 1 Getting Out of Jail. Ooh. Aren't you a fair lass? Your skin is so pale, so pure, and your body is so strong. Let me guess. A Nord, right? I bet you think you're pretty tough, huh? I bet you can swing a sword and everything. Well, it doesn't matter. Not in here. It does no good to fight. But don't worry. The guards always treat the pretty ones nice, right till the end. Oh, that's right. You're going to die in here, Nord. Hey, you hear that? The guards are coming for you. <laughs> Boris, lock that door behind us. Yes, sir. Why, 
sons. They're dead, aren't they? We don't know that, sire. The messenger only said they were attacked. No, they're dead. I know it. My job right now is to get you to safety. What's this prisoner doing here? This cell is supposed to be off limits. Usual mix up with the watch. I. Never mind. Get that gate open. Stand back, prisoner. We won't hesitate to kill you if you get in our way. No sign of pursuit, sir. Stay Good. put, prisoner. Let's go. We're not out of this yet. You. I've seen you. Let me see your face. You are the one from my dreams. Then the stars were right. And this is the day. Gods give me strength. Assassins attacked my sons, and I am next. My blades are leading me out of the city along a secret escape route. Please, sire, we must keep moving. Better not close this one. Ooh, There's secret no door. On the other side. Looks like this is your lucky day. Just stay out of our way. All right, so I'm basically free now. My crime, whatever it was, has been forgiven. And now I'm just walking through a underground passage. This doesn't concern you. Don't get too close. Close up left. Protect the enemy. <laughs> 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 down. Are you all right, sire? We're clear for now. Captain Reno? She's dead. Sorry, sire, but we have to keep moving. Stand aside, prisoner. Why they been waiting for us here? Don't know, but it's too late to go back now. Don't worry, sire. We will get you back. They won't be the first to underestimate the blades. I'll take point. Let's move. You stay here, prisoner. Don't try to follow us. Okay, so you guys are just going to leave me here. That's awesome. Ow. Okay, I'm in a strange place. I've been in prison for an entire year now. Um, there are corpses all over me. So let's see here. Um, Assassin. Ooh. Okay. So I have a sword, a shield, a bow, and a knife. You know, I'm gonna go with the knife. Let me equip. I don't really want to go with armor just quite yet. Um, if I do, it will be only the light armor sets because history has told me that heavy armor is heavy. And I really won't have a whole lot of strength and I will be relying mostly on magic which is something entirely new for me here because uh, usually when I play any Elder Scrolls games it's mostly about you know strength and swords and axes and stuff so this time I'm gonna do something a little bit different so I'm gonna make myself a magic assassin pretty much what's that sound what is that well on earth zombie crap crap okay 
That was scary. Zombie. Zombie. Zombies under the Imperial prison. Yeah. Okay. But I am strong. I am a Nord, and I will be able to get through this. We'll be able to see the outside, breathe the fresh air. There's no way I am going back in that dank cell. Alright, so, so far, my magic casting spells are doing pretty good. I'm not really sure if I should be trusting the food that I pick off the floor with, you know, skulls and bones and stuff, but, hey, you know what? Food is food, and apparently there is no such thing as a staph infection or dysentery, so yeah, I'm pretty much able to eat whatever I find. What is that? A goblin? Crap. I've only been fighting rats and... zombies. But a goblin? Let me equip my bow. Huh, that was pretty easy. I got a rusty iron, iron, uh, short sword. Let's see what this is like. Alright. Basically an oversized version of the dagger. Goblins. Goblins everywhere. Crap, he saw me. Alright, here we go. <laughs> Filthy goblin. I believe... Yes. Yes, I can see one standing all the way over there. Time to kill it with fire. Burn, foul creature! Take your staff. Oh, good. I'm out of the cave. 
Help, what makes you think help will get here before more of those bats? Hey guys, I'm back. Come again! Damn it, it's that prisoner again. Oh, nice to see you too. Assassins. No, she is not one of them. She can help us. She must help us. As you wish. They cannot understand why I trust you. They've not seen what I've seen. How can I explain? Listen, you know the Nine, how they guide our fates with an invisible hand. Yeah, I'm not on good terms with the gods considering that my sister was taken and I have no clue where she is or if she's still alive and I I'm pretty sure I will never see her ever again and you guys locked me in prison for who knows what by the way guys uh, leave in the comments section why you think she ended up in prison along with her sister I've served the Nine all my days, and I chart my course by the cycles of the heavens. The skies are marked with numberless sparks, each a fire, and every one a sign. I know these stars well, and I wonder which sign marked your birth. Okay guys, so I'm going to go with the mage here. The signs I read show the end of my path. My death, a necessary end, will come when it will come. Your stars are not mine. Today the maid shall light your way on the paths of glory. No trophies of my triumphs precede me, but I have lived well, and my ghost shall rest easy. Men are but flesh and blood. They know their doom, but not the hour. In this, I am blessed to see the hour of my death, to face my apportioned fate, then fall. I go to my grave. A tongue shriller than all the music calls me. You shall follow me yet for a while. Then we must part. You may as well make yourself useful here. Carry this torch and stick close. Stick close. Huh. I'm just uh. warming up, you pathetic worm! Yeah. Uh. Uh. Alright guys, so pretty much I'm nearing the end here. Sorta of, kinda. Looks clear. Come on, we're almost through to the sewers. Hey guys, do you mind hurrying it up? I kind of want to see the sunlight. Damn it! The gate is barred from the other side! A trap! What about that side passage back there? Worth a try. Let's go! It's a dead end. What's your call, sir? I don't know. I don't see any good options here. They're behind us! Wait here, sire. Wait here with the Emperor. Guard him with your life. For, For the, the Emperor! Emperor! You trust a prisoner to watch the king? All right. Come with us. Your destiny is... I can go no further. You alone must stand against the Prince of Destruction and his mortal servants. He must not have the Amulet of Kings. Take the Amulet. Give it to Joffrey. He alone knows where to find my last son. Find him and close shut the jaws of oblivion. We failed. I failed. The Blades are sworn to protect the Emperor, and now he and all his heirs are dead. The amulet. Where's the amulet of kings? It wasn't on the Emperor's body. Strange. He saw something in you. Trusted you. Must have given it to you for a reason. 
Did he say why? Joffrey, he said that? Why? Nothing I ever heard about, but Joffrey would be the one to know. He's the Grand Master of my order. Although you may not think so to meet him, he lives quietly as a monk at Wainan Priory, near the city of Coral. But from what I've seen of you, I'm guessing you're an experienced monk. Am I right? Monk? You're guessing that I'm a monk? No. I'm more of a Nightblade than anything else. I would prefer to go with this. So, I am a Nightblade. Really? I would never have guessed. Still, I don't think you'll have any trouble with rats and goblins. You must get the amulet to Joffrey. Take no chances, but proceed to Wayne in Priory immediately. Got it? Yeah, yeah, I get Good. it. The Emperor's trust was well placed. I'll stay here to guard the Emperor's body and make sure no one follows you. You'd better get moving. May Talos guide you. All right. I can smell freedom. That smells like crap. Here we go. Freedom. I can see light. Oh, thank God. I mean, thank Talos. Okay, guys. This is where I am going to end it. I am now out of the sewers. I see fresh air. I can hear birds chirping, butterflies are flapping in the breeze. First I need to deal with a crisis that is going to destroy the entire planet, and only I can stop it. So yay. I finally get out of prison and now I have to save the world. Stress much? Alright guys, so this is it. I hope to see you all next time. Uh, hopefully I will be able to do these once per day, but if not, I'll try to get them done once every other. Uh, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this and I will see you all next time. Peace.